let's talk about Forza Horizon 3. So it's been almost two months since the release of Forza Horizon 3, and I think I've put enough time in the game to make this video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be addressing the main problems with Forza Horizon 3 that I have come across with the game being out for almost two months now. I'm going to start off with the obvious. The game, this game is just nothing new. Forza Horizon 3 really is nothing more than just Forza Horizon 2, aside from a new setting, some new cars, Horizon Blueprint, and traffic driving on the wrong side of the road. Aside from these things, there really isn't much that differs this game from Forza Horizon 2. Now you may argue that if it's broke, don't fix it, and I can agree with this to an extent, but it feels like they didn't put a lot of effort into building this game, and didn't try anything new. This game just feels like the equivalent of taking a computer, painting it a different color, putting in a new fan, and selling it for half for $500 more. Or even more if you spent $100 like I did in the Ultimate Edition. Forza Horizon 3, in my opinion, is not worth $100. Even, not even $60. Bucks. I'd say it's worth more around $40 bucks at the most. Horizon offers nothing really new to the table. Horizon 3 doesn't add anything we really haven't seen before. Yes, you could make the argument that that's one of the only modern day racing games where the AI spawns on the wrong side of the road. But that really isn't enough of a change from two years ago. Damn, there is not enough to differentiate this game from Horizon 2 aside from traffic driving on the wrong side of the road, body kits, and being able to select your own character person. And really, I that's really what just leads to this game just being just boring. It's just more of the same. You could tell they didn't change anything or try anything new. It's just the same old Horizon formula we saw with Horizon 2. By the looks of things, it doesn't look like they're going to be offering anything much in the next Horizon game. We're just going to be getting the same game over and over again until it stops selling well. Horizon is kind of like COD at this point. They have a working formula and make minor to moderate changes with each installment. But don't get me wrong, fundamentally this is a good game. But even when fundamentally it's a better game than the crew in Need for Speed 2015 in terms of content, graphics, and physics, why do I prefer to go and play those games over Horizon 3? To keep, to be completely 100% honest, I think it's because even though the crew in Need for Speed have their fair share of issues, they feel like they have more of a soul to them. Horizon 3 feels like a shell of a game. It just feels like a copy and paste. Horizon 3 is that hamburger from Wendy's where the burger is great, don't get me wrong, but just the same thing over and over again. Every time you go to Wendy's, it's the same thing. You're gonna be getting the same thing. The crew is like eating a burger from a small burger joint. You may not like it, but a lot more effort was put into that burger, and no burger from there is gonna be the same. And Need for Speed is like a burger from a restaurant somewhere very far away from where you live. You get excited every time you go there, and you have more of a pleasurable experience since you don't get to go to that restaurant often. When you go to that faraway burger joint or a small burger joint, you can tell that no burger is the same and that each is handcrafted and filled with passion and effort, and we have more of a pleasurable experience playing these games, since they aren't copied and pasted every two years. The cooks over at Wendy's aren't putting a lot of effort into their burgers. Their burgers are all the same square patties. That's Horizon 3, just the same, and this is Forza's main problem. Nothing new. You, you know what you are getting each year, just like you know what you are getting every time you go to Wendy's. Now I'm not knocking Wendy's, I love Wendy's, but it's a great comparison, and I feel like this is Forza's main problem. Now I can't offer any good solutions to this other than to actually put something new into the game, something to spice it up. It has to be bigger than being able to be the boss, body kits, and again, driving on the wrong side of the road. Make me want to spend my $100. The only reason I bought the Ultimate Edition was because of YouTube, and that did jack shit. Looking at my views on my Forza videos, it was evident that nobody really wanted to watch even only weeks after the game was released. Forza just wasn't interesting to people. Compared to Need for Speed where every video put out got 1000 plus views in its release week, my Forza video struggled to hit 100, even when it just got released. That's not a sign that Forza is going down the tube, I don't know what is. And overall, I just feel like this game could really use a facelift. This game is just... They, this game, it needs a major overhaul if it wants to keep people interested. People like me, because if the next Horizon game is going to be just like it is now, I might not even get it. I might not even care enough to get it. But that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tell me your thoughts about how you feel Horizon is right now. Is it boring? Is it not boring? And yeah, tell me in the comments. That's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good one.